Hey guys, it's Max with Max Tech, and in front of me I have the brand new 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro with Vega 20 graphics. I did a video already looking at performance, benchmarks, some thermal, seeing if it throttled on my other channel, which I'll link to down in the video description. I'll also have a link to this exact model that I'm testing. But in that video, a lot of people are asking about gaming performance, so much so that I installed Windows 10, I downloaded some games on here. We're going to be looking at Fortnite, the brand new Battlefield 5, which I haven't even played, and Black Ops 4, and we're going to see how how this thing performs in gaming. So right now I'm running Unigen Heaven. I ran this on Mac OS. I want to see if there's any differences when we're running on Windows if we have some performance improvements with the operating system. Now I know and I hope that nobody's buying this machine just for gaming. It's very expensive, but if you're buying it for video editing with Final Cut, 3D design, doing other kind of work, but you want to do some gaming on the side, it would be great if this thing performed well. I tested some of the previous models and even though you could play on medium to low graphics, it really wasn't great. And in my benchmarking video, the thing that surprised me the most was the Unigen Heaven performance and how much of a difference we got uh, compared to the previous best graphics card, the 560X. So the results are in, and yes, under Windows 10, the performance of this graphics card for gaming is much better. We're looking at 1,235 score compared to 967 that I got under macOS Mojave, and the FPS went from 38.4 all the way up to 49. So that is a noticeable improvement. So if you have games that are cross-platform, I would suggest you run the under Windows 10 using Boot Camp. So now let's go ahead and close this down. So let's start out with Black Ops 4. And I know some of you guys are going to be asking about the gaming mouse that I have dongled up to the MacBook Pro here. I'll go ahead and leave a link to my favorite gaming mouse down in the description. So I'm in the graphics settings. It's set to native resolution here, which is crazy. You know, you're looking at 2.2. 8K or so. I'm going to go down to 1920 by 1200, slightly higher than uh, 1080p. Texture quality high, texture filtering high, medium effects, model quality high, static reflection quality high. It's choosing some high settings on here. All right, so I changed the settings to mostly medium with some of the effects uh, turned on, motion blur turned off. And the internet here is kind of sucky, so I'm seeing a little bit of lag. Frame rates are running at about 50 right now. 48, 52, I saw some go into the 60s. But as far as any sort of frame rate drops and lag from that, it's actually looking quite smooth. Still running about 45 during these shoots here. Hands are kicked up and they're quite loud. So we're running at about 50 frames per second now, and it seems like we're running between 45 to 65 frames per second. And if I remember right, this is uh, the map that had the most difficulty with frame rate wise because of all the snow and the particles um, in our uh, budget gaming PC build. So I've been playing for about five minutes here on this other map. Yeah. <laughs> So I have everything kind of on medium settings, anti-aliasing, different effects. Some effects that you just turn on are just turned on. And in this game, I'm basically above 60 all the time. So right now I'm at 63. Some spots I'm like at 75 with medium settings and the effects turned on. Um, so you can turn a few more things down, but man, we're staying about right there in that firefight drop down to 56 was the lowest. Actually, this is great. I mean, if you want to play some games, some Black Ops, after you're done video editing and doing whatever else you do, now you have a pretty decent gaming laptop. And in Unigen Heaven, uh, just on the Mac side, the graphics were about 85% faster compared to the 560. So definitely a good improvement. Uh, if you do any sorts of gaming, the Vega 20 is definitely worth it. All right, so we have another map here. Um, I changed the settings. I lowered some of the effects to like medium that I had, lower the anti-aliasing and uh, resolution from 1920 by 1200 to 1080p. And then I raised the texture quality to very high, so the maximum. And we're running around here at 90 FPS, 95 FPS. Uh, like I said, that snow map is very difficult to, to use. If there's ever been a MacBook that you can play new games at decent settings, this is it. Gosh, there's too many of them. <laughs> so I am thoroughly impressed. Now let's jump into Battlefield 5. I actually haven't played Battlefield 5 yet. Is it gonna let me get into the game now? Oh man. 
So let's see what the default settings are. I mean, visually, oh my goodness, this looks really good compared to Black Ops. The lighting looks nice. Gosh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Get down! I don't know about you guys, but I am playing a brand spanking new game that is gorgeous. Like the lighting is here is incredible on a MacBook Pro without any issues. I don't know what the frame rates are. I don't have a counter on here, but it feels nice and smooth. It seems like the settings are set really high because this is just beautiful. The, dude, the chain cinematics, the night scenes, look at like the lighting in here. Bam. Dude, you're done with video editing and whatever, and that then one. bam, dude. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh, is this the top of the line? Yeah. You're right, if that was the trailer, they would sell a lot more. It was running that beginning cinematics at full, you know, 2.8, 2.9K basically. So I'm playing here at 1080p. I have film grain, vignetting, lens distortion on, chromatic aberrations on, the blur effects are on. In the graphics settings, uh, it's set to auto, max fidelity, and the textures and stuff are on medium here. I'm at 64 frames per second right now. 62 frames per second, 65. I'd like to kick the textures up a little bit more, but uh, that screen tearing is going on, meaning we're running faster than we need to. So I'm customizing the settings. I set texture quality to high. Most everything else is on medium. In the anti-aliasing, I dropped a little bit lower. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So right there, 60 FPS, it is extremely consistent. I am very surprised. And we're running at 58 to 60 to 62 frames per second. Let's set the texture quality to ultra now. Our graphics are still at 60. 57 right there, dip down to 57. I was getting shot at staying at 60. Okay, we got smoke going on here. That typically makes it harder. We're at 60 still. <laughs> I don't know if it's clocking higher when I have more demanding things or what's going on, but this frame rate is insanely consistent. I've never seen frame rates that are this consistent. Maybe this game is just super well optimized. So to finish off, I'm gonna switch it to 1920 by 1200 lighting quality. Let's set that to ultra. Effects quality, high processing. Let's turn that up. All right, so we upped all those graphics. We're in a map with all this snow here. We have all these particles that are flying around, which is typically very hard uh, for games. And right there when I died, I was at 58 FPS. I don't know what's going on. My vertical sync is turned off. Sometimes it's going above 60. So I guess we'll have to turn up the graphics even more. Let's just set everything to high, I guess, and keep uh, the lighting and textures on ultra. All right, so finally we have some dipping frame rates here. We're at 52, 50, 53. I mean, the frame rates are so consistent. I think if we weren't on a map with a bunch of snow particles, we'd probably be close to 60 here. Yeah, 47 right there when I died. Man, this game has really, really good optimization. I'm so impressed. So I can officially say that if you want to play Battlefield 5, man, this is impressive. Better than Black Ops 4, which is already good. Uh, if you set your graphics settings, everything to high, at even higher than 1080p, you're not going to have any issues. And the game looks gorgeous. So now it's time for the game that has the worst graphics and probably the worst optimization as well. So let's go in the settings, set everything on high. We're gonna keep that massive full resolution there. Flying around, 57, 58, 55, 60. So we're at 59, 58, 60 frames per second. Where are you? Oh. So I'll be honest, this is basically the first time I'm playing Fortnite, I'm still level one here. I'm not into the whole dying and waiting so long to join into another game. I wonder if it's just this graphics card that is so consistent with frame rates then. And I've watched some uh, footage online, but the graphics always look pretty bad. And I wonder if most people play at 1080p. Here we're probably running double or maybe close to triple of 1080p with this display. And it looks quite good. Frame rate wise, we're right around 60 frames per second. Sometimes dips into like the mid 50s. Yeah, shotgun, okay. Wait, I killed a tree? <laughs> I thought he was just hiding behind there or something. Nope, there's a guy. Guys, 
I don't know what I'm doing. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, it's that guy again. Switch to my shotgun. No, 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 stop. Stop building stuff. Give me my shotgun. Where's my shotgun? What? He died? Oh. <laughs> well, I think that's about it for Fortnite. Obviously, I don't really know what I'm doing, but with the highest resolution, everything on uh, high settings here, one tick down from Ultra, we're staying right in the mid 50s to 60. Almost like there's some kind of a V-Sync turned on. The fans don't seem as loud as with Black Ops 4 and Battlefield 5. Um, but in, this, in the game settings, uh, we have V-Sync turned off. So I don't know if there's something else that it could be affecting it. Maybe AMD settings. And they're 55, 58. Whoa. Okay, that was cool. So I think it's safe to say that if you want to play some Fortnite on your MacBook Pro with Vega 20 graphics, you're not going to have any issues. We're here at high settings, maxing out the resolution 2880 by 1800, and the frame rates are great. If you want to lower it down, you're going to be able to get even higher frame rates. Uh, so overall, I am very impressed with the graphics card that they put in this machine. I wish, I, I do wish that these graphics cards were available at launch because I know a lot of you guys bought the previous 560X version and now you have an option that is uh, much more powerful, especially for gaming. Um, I will be doing a lot more tests on my other channel. Like I said, check out the link in the video description where I uh, did a bunch of benchmarking, performance, and thermal testing. You guys definitely want to check out that video. Make sure you guys subscribe and enable those notifications uh, so you guys don't miss out on future videos. Um, overall, quite impressive. And this is the first MacBook Pro that can actually do a decent job at gaming with these new modern titles. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Max with Max Tech, and I'll see you in the next video.